Hey Nintendo fans and collectors, this is Lithium017 from my channel Nintendo Collecting 101, bringing you collecting tip number 61. This one's called You Shelt Dust, or in general, cleaning. If you have a collection, especially when it gets to be more than just a few items, you definitely need to clean it. If it doesn't look clean, it doesn't really look as good as it could, and it's not as impressive, and that's just true. Allergies can also be a thing, smells can be a thing, pets can be an issue. So you, you want to clean your collection. You want people, when they see it, they want to be impressed by it, and they want to support you for it. They don't want to say, what a mess, what a disaster, looks like hoarding. I could have a huge debate about if this is hoarding or if this is just collecting, and that's another video. But I think a dirty collection, and it's not organized, usually looks, looks terrible. Alright, so here are some of my collecting products that I use. First of all, if it smells bad, let's make it smell better. So, Febreze for air works great, obviously. Something like Febreze for fabrics or for couches or for your carpets, you can use that as well. If you have specific games or items that smell like smoke, use dryer sheets. They're a great source of getting rid of smoke. Also, just to make the collection smell a bit better, so you can put them anywhere hidden in your collection and it'll probably smell better in here. I also use a glass cleaner on any windows, on old school televisions like CRT televisions, and on my display cabinets. And if you have any wood in your collection because of your shelves, you can get some sort of cleaner or oil soap. And I have Murphy's, I think it says it cost me $2 at the dollar store. Awesome, crazy, low expensive cleaning supplies, fun time, video gaming! Yes. And then, obviously, one of the most important things is dust. Dust. Yes, you should always dust. So I have a Swiffer. This thing works really well. It's uh, It's got an extent. Watch, watch this. It's just... Oh my gosh. Look how... So I never have to use a chair. I can actually just go up and I can use this with my arms. And if we're... You know, if you're mature and you want to have a collection, you should probably show others that you're mature. So you should clean. So really quickly, I'll go over what I actually do in my collection. And... Uh, you know, some tips for when I clean, because that's that's just hilarious. Alright, for smell, um, look. Look what we're gonna... Oh, it's cleaner already, doesn't it? So you can, yeah, spray your collection. Great. The fabric one, why not? Gonna show you. I have, I have some pillows. Yeah, look. Oh. Oh, that'll, that'll work. That'll make it a little bit better. Great. Alright, so that's, that's done. Look how long that took. Glass cleaner. I have some display cabinets. So I would, I would spray them, and then I would use my paper towels, guys. Yep, and then the windows, clean those. My CRT televisions, I would clean those with glass cleaner as well. Possibly even your, you probably want to clean up if they have fingerprints all over them. You want to wipe off your posters and your poster frames if you do have those. Why not? Then... I think the next step that everyone knows about is this awesome thing called dusting. So this is gonna be fun, guys. Let's let's have some fun with let's have some fun with this. All right. I would remove every single one of my figurines. I would probably dust them individually every month or three, depends how keen I feel. And obviously, you want to dust off your entire shelves and your collection as well. And it's really fun, really. I mean. Hopefully you can see how awesome I've kept this clean just for this video because right there I think I can see some dust so I could just go in between the figures and just just do this but Really if I'm doing a good job, I should remove them So I do this probably once every month or so but I was away at school So I haven't done it in a while so as you can see on top of this lovely TV Look at that just for you guys leaving my room dirty just for you How thoughtful and after you dust, I usually get this kind of soap oil, and I use it on just usually the fronts of all of these, but I remove all the boxes because you don't want to damage them. Then make sure you dry everything off, make sure there's no residue, and how do you dry things off? I would dry them off with paper towels. Yes, it's simple. It's not an amazing collecting tip. But it's more for impressing other people, and if you want your family and your friends to take you seriously with it, if it's clean, they'll respect you a lot more. So definitely clean your collection, clean your collection, collecting tip number 61. If you like my videos, feel free to hit the like button, feel free to subscribe, and feel free to follow me on Facebook or Twitter. And remember, as always, 
Game on.